Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I want to talk about event triggers with Azure Data Factory. Now in the past it was very common for us to trigger ETL processes based on a schedule. So for example, we might have our ETL process start at the beginning of every hour, or we might have it run once per night at a, at a certain point in time. But more and more in today's world, we prefer an approach where processes are initiated by uh, the occurrence of an event. And that's what Azure Data Factory event triggers do for us. And so event triggers work when a blob or a file is placed into blob storage or when it was when it's deleted from a certain container. And so by placing a file in a container, that will kick off an Azure Data Factory pipeline. The triggers use the Microsoft Event Grid technology, uh, which is really interesting to understand. The Event Grid itself can be used for a wide variety of event-driven processing in Azure. And so it's interesting and important to understand that Azure Data Factory is using Event Grid under the covers. Now, today the event triggers are only um, triggered by the creation or deletion of a, of a blob in a blob container. But since we are using Event Grid, I, I'd like to think that we might be, uh, you know, have the option in the future to, to enable them through other events, but it's important to know that for today that they're only available with the creation or deletion of a file. Of course, we don't have to use uh, the built-in functionality within Azure Data Factory to kick off a pipeline. We can build our own triggers if we want. So, for example, we can uh, maybe have a, a logic app that, that uh, uses an Azure function, and that Azure function might kick off a pipeline based on some event that happens inside our app, for example. So we can always use our own, but if we do that, we're now outside of the framework of Azure Data Factory. And so the nice thing about the event triggers is that they're all managed within the framework of, of Data Factory. Now I mentioned Event Grid. Uh, it is important to know that before we can use the event triggers, we have to register the Microsoft Event Grid resource. And I'm showing that on this screenshot here. This is a uh, property of your subscription. And so you'll have to uh, register that resource here before we can use event triggers in Azure Data Factory. Now to create the trigger, I'm showing that on this screenshot here. We do this from the Azure Data Factory um, designer and creating a trigger. And we've got three choices there. We have the choice of doing a schedule, a tumbling window. But what I want to do is choose event. And when I choose event then, I need to select the storage account that we're going to be keying on and then also the the file path or, or pattern that we're going to be looking for so i can set this up to say something like okay when a file is placed in such and such a container then trigger uh, the pipeline or if there's a file that's created that has a certain naming pattern then i can trigger the the uh, pipeline but that's all configured here uh, finally, uh, in my example here, I've made the selection to fire the trigger when a blob is created. Uh, I can also do it when it's deleted, as you see there. So once I've created that trigger, now what I need to do is associate my pipeline to that trigger. Uh, and so this works the same that, that you know, as we've done with other triggers. So from my pipeline, I say that I want to uh, create a trigger. And then I would choose the event trigger that I created in the previous step. Now, one thing that's really interesting here, and I've kind of showed an example how to do this, if I have pipeline parameters configured on my pipeline, I can take the values of the file path and the file name from the blob that was created in my example and pass those as inputs or context into your, your pipeline for execution, which is really handy and powerful. I hope you found this introduction to event triggers in Azure Data Factory helpful and interesting. If you have any questions about Azure Data Factory or data warehousing in the cloud, please reach out, let us know. Thank you.